Hello folks, my name is Matt Peterson. I'm a trainer at Pragmatic Works and I've been working on a YouTube series this year all built around the power platform. And my catchphrase for it is we've got this. The reason I call it we've got this is because we've got this. I want to show you some tips and tricks and some basic foundational materials that you can use within the power platform to get things running. So in this episode, what we're going to do is I want to show you how you can bring in a power application that you have made and embed it directly into a Power BI report. Now in episode one and two of my series, we started building this park inspection app. We're not done with it. I'm gonna revisit that throughout this year. But what I wanna show you now is how to take an application you've already built and put it into a Power BI report. So without any further ado, let's go take a look at how this is done. So I've built a Power BI report over my inspection data that I'm currently creating within the application. Now what I want to do as well is have my users be able to go to the Power BI report, see the application, create the inspections, and see how their data visualizations change. It is a fairly easy process. So here's how we get it accomplished. We're gonna head on over into the visualizations pane on the right hand side. And we have this Power App visual that we can just simply click on, and it puts it directly onto our Power BI report page. Now, it's a little bit hard to see, with your real estate. So what I typically do at this point is I will go into focus mode in order to get that set up. So again, how I got to focus mode there, it's right in the upper right hand corner. Gonna click on focus mode and we just have to follow the steps that they have on our little tutorial screen here in order to get it set up. So step number one, it says select any fields from your data set you would like to use in your app. So I'm just gonna pick one of my data fields. This is all coming from a SQL server table that my app is hooked into and I'm just gonna bring in park name. Once I bring in a field, it now is going to allow me to tap into all of the environments that I am a part of within make.powerapps.com. Now my application is not in my personal productivity, but it is in my Matt Peterson's environment. Once I select that, I'm going to then go over here and click on choose an app. Now when I go to choose app, it's going to get my apps ready and I want to use our park inspection app. So I'm going to hit add. And at this point, it's going to give me a few things to make note of. The first thing is when we put this application into a Power BI report, if I want my users to see the app and interact with it, I also have to share this app with those users. So not only do my users need to have access to my Power BI report, they also need to have access to my application as well. Once those two things are set up, then we are good to go. So what can we do with this application? and How does it interact with the Power BI report? Well, what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna skip on this that says to make sure you finalize your data connection. I have saved it, I have published it out. But what I can do is start to create and delete records. Now, before I do that, I'm gonna go back to my report here. You can see now that the application is a little bit harder to see. You only have so much real estate to work with, right? However, something to know, this report, I currently have it in direct query mode meaning that my data is going to get refreshed. Anytime I go into visual, select it, it sends that query to the SQL server, and then the results are now going to come back. If this was an import mode, we could still interact with the app, but my users won't see those direct results until we do a data refresh. So typically when I embed applications into my Power BI reports, I use a direct query connection here. So let's see how this uh, gets accomplished and how we can see these results. So I'm gonna come over back into focus mode so it's a little bit easier to see here. And I'm going to create a brand new record. And again, if I go back to the report, I currently have 4,804 records. So let's create a record and see if that goes up to 4,805. So I'm gonna come over here, search for the Master Sergeant John E. Park. I'm gonna give it a rating of one. Comments, this was not in great shape. I will hit submit. I get my notification here. It's a little bit hard to see, but my record has now been created. If I go back to my report, it still says 4,804. However, if I click refresh in my Power BI desktop, this now should change over to 4,805, which it does. However, there is another feature we can utilize here within the Power BI report for the page refreshes to occur automatically for me when we're in the desktop here. So let me show you where that is located. That is located on the whole page itself. So no visuals have been selected. I'm going to come over here to the format section and then over next to at the bottom page refresh, I'm going to turn this to on. 
And then when I expand this down, I'm going to say I want to refresh this page, not every 30 minutes. I'm going to go down to every 10 seconds. So I have it set to 10 seconds now. Page refreshes on. So let's see what happens when I create a brand new record. So I'm going to go back into focus mode. Actually, this time I'll delete some records. So I'm just going to get rid of a whole bunch of records here. All of them are gone. I'm now going to go back into my report. And in just a few seconds here, we should see this number. Whew, there it went, 4,805 down to 4,801. And as you can see, as I start to interact with my report, it still works in the same way as we would typically see. So that is how easy it is to put applications directly into your Power BI reports. The only thing we have to remember, our users have to have access to the report. So whether they're in our workspace or we share it with them directly through a link, and they have to have access to the application as well. But hopefully you can see some great ideas as you have people creating these records and seeing how the visuals are now changing to get some data insights into things that they might not have known. Now in future videos, I'm gonna show kind of a backwards process to this, how we can take Power BI visuals and put them into our Power applications. So as we can see with the Microsoft Power Platform, the, the seamless integration that we have between these products are astounding, and this is just one way that we can do it. So I hope you enjoyed. I have a lot more in store for you throughout the year. This is great instruction. These are one-off videos, but if you're looking for some formal training, some structured scaffolding where we go things from beginning to end uh, over multiple hours, take a look in the description below. There is a coupon code there if you want to sign up for our on-demand learning. For watching my video, you get a discount for that, so definitely take advantage. Again, I hope you enjoyed. I hope to see you throughout the rest of the year in my series. And with that being said, I'll see you in the next video.